Now, let's go through an example on balancing of chemical equations. Propane is a gas that is used for cooking or heating. Now, it is a colorless and odorless gas. In the combustion of propane, propane and oxygen react to give rise to carbon dioxide and water. So, the chemical equation of this would be C3H8 plus O2 gives rise to CO2 plus H2O. Well, this is an unbalanced form of the equation, which is also called as a skeleton equation. Well, anyway, now let's balance this chemical equation. It is advised to start off with the most complex substance in the equation. And in this case, it is C3H8. If you notice, there are three carbon atoms on the left side and only one carbon atom on the right side. So to balance it, you can simply add a coefficient of three to the single carbon on the right side. And similarly, there are eight hydrogen atoms on the left side and only two hydrogen atoms on the right side. So to balance this, you can simply add a coefficient of four to the existing hydrogen atom and then balance the hydrogen atoms. And finally, oxygen. There are two atoms on the left and 10 atoms on the right. So to balance it, you can simply add a coefficient of five and balance the number of atoms. And now count the number of atoms of each element separately and verify them. After balancing the chemical equation, ensure that the coefficients are of the least whole number values. Here in our case, it is balanced, but not every time. For example, if 2C3H8 plus 10O2 gives rise to 6CO2 plus 8H2O, then it is not a balanced chemical equation where the coefficients are of a least whole number value. So to make it a balanced equation, you can simply divide it by 2 and obtain the balanced chemical equation. And now how about I give you a chemical equation and you balance it. Fe2O3 plus Al gives rise to 2Fe plus Al2O3. Pause the video if you like to and quickly balance this chemical equation and make sure that the coefficients are of a least whole number value. So the answer is Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives rise to 2Fe plus Al2 or 3. So what have we learned today? We have looked at an example of balancing a chemical equation. So until next time, happy learning.